Okay, good morning and welcome back for the discussion. The last class we have already discussion about the different memories, primary memory and the secondary memories, RAM, ROM and the external memories. Now today I'm going to discuss about the hard disk is another component used in the computer memory. So these are the uh, internal uh, comp parts of the hard disk. This, uh, these are the internal parts of the hard disk. So what are the uh, components is that first is your drive casing the drive casing is the rectangular set box that holds all of the internal components of the hard disk a cover mounts to the casing using multiple screws so that is known as the there is a uh, case is there under that case these all the components are placed and but uh, the this hard disk is sealed when the, there is a case is there and after that uh, when the case is properly filled by the some uh, screws it is sealed by two layer one is internal seal and another is external seal next is a spindle the spindle rotates the platters at a certain speed measured in the rpm rotation per minute this is the spindle this small circle is known as the spindle and this is known as the platter this circle is known as the platter and the spindle is responsible or the spindle uh, is rotating that entire platter. Next is your actuator arm. The actuator arm also called the read write arm contains read write uh, heads near the end of the arm. It is the actuator arm that helps position the read write heads at the correct location on the platter to read the data. The heads never actually touch the platters when accessing the data they function at approximately 5 microns above the surface of the plateau here important point is there this is the actuator arm right it is used to for the read and write operations these are the actuator arm right read and write operation and this arm is uh, help to position the uh, correct head to the correct location on the plateau to read the data Next is your actually the header actually touch the platters. The head never actually touch the platters. Actually, head is not actually touch the platters. If it touch the platters directly, then with the scratch is created. Huh? There is the external scratches are created within that platter. If it is will be harmful for that platter. So there is a five micron surface gap is there. Five microns there. They function at approximately 5 microns above the surface of the platter. That gap is maintained. Okay. So next is your platters. In the center of the hard disk, there are platters which hold all of the data on the hard disk. A disk can contain one or more platters depending on the capacity. The number of the platters, whether one platter, two platter, it all depends upon the capacity of the platters and the depend the capacity next is your actuator what in the actuator the actuator moves the actuator arm to the correct position on the platters using voice coil using the voice coils motivated by electric currents and uh, when no electric current is being received the actuator causes the actuator arm to place the read and write heads in the parked position so this is the actuator this point is there is the actuator Right now, the main job is when the power is up. Suppose it is reading and writing regularly, it's continuous manner. Suppose the power is gone, that is, there is no supply of the power. That means the head is back to the is parking position. There is a parking position. That does not mean that suppose the power is off. That means the location where it in the previously it's placed, it will be in there. No, this is not actually this is not actually happen. It will back to the in which position is reading or writing is back to the original your parking area right now in that area the actuator is placed in that area next is your ribbon cable this cable attached to the rewrite heads to the control controller that means the ribbon cable there is a cable which is connected to that uh, uh, heads to the controller board clear no? so that is all about the hard disk and the, the last but the, not the least memory hierarchy and the memory hierarchy design this is the memory hierarchy 
suppose coming from the top to bottom it is increase in capacity and access time and if move to the from bottom to the top it is increase in the cost per bit and the level 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 right so these both optical disc magnetic tapes coming under one level and uh, cpu the catch memory main memory magnetic tapes so when as a cost uh, cpu cost is very high for cpu registers but in, in uh, cost means in the bit cost not the you know, and increase in capacity and the access time means usually the magnetic uh, tape having the more capacity than the registers so here you are going to discuss details as the registers in cpu in computer architecture the register a very fast computer memory which are used to execute programmed and operations efficiently this does by giving access to commonly used values the values which are in the point of operation execution at that time so register in cpu means there are so many type of registers are used in the cpu or the processor and these processors uh, sorry these registers used as the local memory for that processor local memory that means all the registers help to processor during the processing and this register that store the data temporarily because its capacity is register its memory capacity is very less that's why it acts as a buffer that means it acts as a temporary storage area once job is over the data will be immediately erase and it it will be ready for receiving the next data so that is known as the that is the property of the registers in the cpu next is your catch memory whatever the catch memory i have discussed catch is a smaller faster memory and located to the closure to a processor core and which stores copies of the data from frequently used main memory location again catch memory is a static memory which place store the data from the main memory or store the copies of all data from the main memory and it will help to during the processing it will help during the processing that processor retrieve the data from the catch memory not the from the main memory why now to get the catch memory uh, to retrieve the data from the catch memory taking less time by the processor when the taking uh, retrieving the data from the main memory which take, take the most time to retrieve the data right now that is the job of the cache that's why the cache memory mounted between the main memory and the processor next come to the main memory main memory refers to a physical memory that is internal to the computer it is coming an internal memory main memory or primary memory rom ram is uh, all are the internal memory and whatever the external memory now all the hard disks external hard disks i'm not saying the hard disks uh, then your pen drive these all are the external memory storage area so the main memory refers to physical memory that is internal to the computer and the word main is used to distinguish it from external mass storage devices such as disk drives other terms used to mean main memory include ram and primary storage so it is the main memory then what about the disk storage the term disk space or storage usually refer to hard drive storage hard drive storage is typically used for long term storage of various types of files higher capacity hard drives can store larger amounts and size of files such as videos music pictures and documents so disk storage means its capacity is so large compared to the other and there is a magnetic storage in the hierarchy there is a magnetic uh, magnetic tape is there is coming both level that means optical disks and magnetic tapes and this magnetic or tape also the high capacity to store the data and the uh, in compared to the optical and in the optical disks also it store the data uh, com uh, the large data compared to the main memory so this is all about the chapter 1 and uh, in the today's class we discuss about the, all the memory hierarchies the in the memory hierarchy there is uh, the fast is your register then catch memory then main memory then the magnetic disk optical disk and magnetic tape so this is all about the uh, chapter 1
सो थैंक यू टू ऑल